Side by side for the third spot. Coming up off a of turn, number two, Billy Bigley Jr. puts it up into the third spot. Daryl Shelnut in the number seven, side by side with the number five of Joe Boyd. Boyd trying to make some run room. Wow, major horsepower out of Boyd off a of turn number four. Had it right up the exhaust pipes of the 28 machine. Had to pull off of it. He is up on the high side. No grip for him. Shelnut gets by. Here comes Dottilly. Spin. That's going to be the 22 up to the top all by himself. <laughs> Drivers looking for the green flag. It's out. We're racing. Wow, Dylan Bigley up on the high side. Had a good start coming up off of turn number four. Pulled it out in front. Now going to try to shut the door on his dad going into turn number three. Dylan Bigley giving his old man no room. And his old man says, I'm going to shove right back. Billy Bigley Jr. puts it right on the bumper, says, son, I'm going to take you to school. Coming up off of turn number two, down the back straightaway. Give it to Billy Bigley Jr. Now Dylan Bigley trying to pull it down to the inside. Can't quite do it. Joe Boyd gets into the mix, looks down to the inside, almost making some contact. Stacked up behind Dylan Bigley. That's going to be the seven machine of Daryl Shelnut. Got some heavy hitters right there with the young man. He's doing a good job holding his own into turn three. Back up front, the 81, Anthony Campy once again trying to step it out, make it two and a row for the Turner Tree Landscaping Super Late Models. Picking up where he left off last time. Now Billy Bigley Jr. is broken away. He is in the second spot trying to run him down. Back in third, the five of Joe Boyd. Fourth is going to be the 128 of Dylan Bigley. And fifth, the number seven out of Lake City, Daryl Shelnut. Your leader down the back straightaway into turn number three, the 81, Anthony Campy. That car has slowed. Everybody's starting to reel him in. Has he gotten slower? Has everybody gotten faster? Billy Bigley Jr. back in the second spot, starting to reel him in. Now Bigley's got the number five of Joe Boyd locked up all over his back bumper. Coming up off of turn number four, Anthony Campy, your leader in the 81, trying to hold him off, trying to keep some daylight between him and the rest of the field. Doing a good job of it right now, but Bigley trying to close in, but he's got the five of Joe Boyd knocking on the back door. Boyd looks down to the inside, coming up off of turn number four. Boyd looks low, pulls right alongside of him, going into turn number one. Bigley works good on the high side, coming up off of two. Boyd digging hard, gets a little sideways, door to door into turn number three. Joe Boyd locked up right down on the inside of the track. The preferred line coming up off of four. Joe Boyd, he's going to take it. Goes down into turn one. Joe Boyd to second. Billy Bigley Jr. back to third. Off the pace, that's going to be the 142. Troy McNabb out of Naples pulls his car down into the infield. He is done for the night. Your leaders making their way up off of turn number two. The number 10 machine, Jason Miller, going a lap down as everybody clears him on the high side as they go into turn number three. Anthony Campy, your leader, still a lot of daylight between him and the second place car of Joe Boyd. So Jason Miller's already gone a lap down. The next car to go a lap down, that's going to be the 112 machine out of Plantation, Florida, Steve Weaver. He comes up off of turn four and down into one as Anthony Campy closes in on the back bumper and they make their way up off of turn number two. Campy goes up to the high side. Weaver stays down low. Man, his brakes are already glowing red on the 112 machine. Closing in on his back bumper now. That's going to be the five of Joe Boyd. Boyd goes up to the high side. David Weaver keeping it slow and low and letting the leaders go by on the high side. Billy Bigley Jr. clears him, Dylan Bigley, then the 7 machine of Shelnut, the 30 of Dottilly, and the 28D of T.J. Duke.
Coming up off of turn number four, starting to get a little racy back there for the fourth spot. The 128, Dylan Bigley trying to hold off the veteran out of Dade City, the number seven machine of Daryl Shelnut. Now Jason Miller pulls his car into the infield. He is going to be done for the night. Back to the racing action for the fourth spot. Dylan Bigley in the 128 machine. Been getting a little sideways up off the corner. The car jumping loose on him. Shellnut tries to reel him in. I think Shellnut's just waiting for the right time to start pouring on the steam. Now Bigley goes up to the top of the track. Sideways off of turn number four. Shellnut still right there in his tire tracks and back down the one. Coming up off of turn number two, Dylan Bigley takes it out wide. Shellnut right there up the exhaust pipes. Here comes the 30 machine of Dottilly. Dottilly wanting to get into the mix as they come up off of turn number four. Jesse Dottilly, the 30 machine, our second fast qualifier of the night. Not having a good pill draw. Now your leader, the 81, Anthony Campy, working lap traffic once again. That's going to be the 17 and the 22 of Eddie King and David King. Campy gets by those two cars easily. Now Boyd's going to have to work them over, coming off of four and down the front straightaway. Joe Boyd goes up the high side of the 22. Billy Bigley going to follow him right through there. Same with the 17. Billy follows him through on the high side. Coming up off of turn number four. Bigley having a good run. Eddie King in the 17 running about a half a lane higher than everybody else. He's got them stacked up down the front straightaway into turn number one. Now here comes a battle. Bigley, Dylan Bigley goes up the track. Shellnut says that's my opportunity. Left Broadway open going into turn number three. Shellnut took it away. Shellnut to fourth. Dylan Bigley back to fifth. Lap traffic playing a factor in this race. Keep an eye on the number seven of Daryl Shelnut. He got around Dylan Bigley. Now he's starting to stretch it out over that fifth place car. He's trying to run Dylan Bigley's dad down who is sitting in third. Billy Bigley Jr. off of two, down the back straightaway. Now the 128, Dylan Bigley. Here comes Jesse Dottilly down on the inside. Dottilly, some contact off of turn number four. Dottilly putting some numbers right on him. Your leader, Anthony Campy, down the front straightaway in the 81 machine. Your leader in second, the number five of Joe Boyd. Third, Billy Bigley Jr. in the 28. Dennis Coletti still on the lead lap, trying to get around the 17 of King as they come up off of turn number four. He does so. Now Billy Bigley Jr. still right there in his tire tracks and now closing in on the action for the third spot. The number seven out of Dade City, Daryl Shelnut. He is in fourth and knocking on the back door of the 28. Caution coming out. We're racing. Daryl Shellnut up on the wheel. Now he's got to do battle with the 30 of Jesse Dottilly. Dottilly down low. Shellnut up high. They come up off of turn number four. Digging hard. Shellnut all the way up against the wall. Taking the spot back. Coming up off of turn number two and down the back straightaway. The 81, Anthony Campy right in control of this race. But Joe Boyd doing everything he can. Trying not to let him get away this time.
Down the back straight away into turn number three. Coming up off of four, Anthony Campy, your leader, Joe Boyd, in second. Those two drivers by himself. The battle right now, shake it up for the third spot. The 28, Billy Bigley Jr., trying to hold off a charge from the number seven of Gerald Shelnut and the 30 of Jesse Dettilly. Dettilly swings it in wide right in the tire tracks of Shelnut. Both of them bring him down to the inside, trying to get out around Bigley as they go down the front straight away into turn number one. Billy Bigley Jr. in the 28 machine. A little sideways that time up off of turn number two. Had it wound up. Did a good job. Hung on to it. They're still knocking on the back door as they come up off of turn number four. Shelna keeps taking a peek down to the inside when they come up off the corner. Then lets it roll back up in line. Backs off a little bit. Probably letting some air get into the inside as they close in on lap traffic. That's going to be the 22 of David King. He stays down on the flat of the track as they come up off of turn number four. Dottilly putting a little bumper to the back end of the seven machine as they went down the back straight away. Jesse Dottilly had a good run coming up off a of turn two that last lap. See if he does it again, holding tight right there as they go down into turn number three. Shelnut letting the rough side drag as the sparks fly out from underneath the car. Third, fourth, and fifth still locked up nose to tail. New sixth place car, that's going to be the 28D of T.J. Duke. He got around the 128 of Dylan Bigley. Bigley now in chase on him. They are still nose to tail back there in that position. Fifty laps in the books, 25 laps to go, 25 lap shootout as in control of this race. The 81, Anthony Campy takes it down into turn number three. In second, the number five of Joe Boyd. Those two drivers, they've pretty much checked out. They're all by themselves. The battle is going to be for the third spot with 25 laps to go. The 28, Billy Bigley Jr. still trying to hold off the number seven of Shelnut. Shelnut looking down to the inside. Bigley up top, Shelnut down low. Give Shelnut the third spot in the three. Here comes Dottilly. He's going to come right with him. Slower traffic on the inside. They made it three wide down into one and two. Bigley got a piece of Dottilly. He hangs on to it, backs off. Now they've swapped spots. The third spot goes to the number seven of Daryl Shelnut. The fourth spot goes to the 30 of Dottilly. And fifth will belong to the 28 of Billy Bigley Jr. Back in the sixth spot, the 28D of T.J. Duke still trying to hold off the 128 of Dylan Bigley. Locked up behind him going to be the number four machine of Dennis Coletti. Those cars are still on the lead lap. Your lap traffic is going to be the 22 and the 17 of the King family. David King in the 22, Eddie King in the 17. Eddie King getting ready to go another lap down as they go into turn number one. Campy goes around the high side, rolls it up off of two. Back in second, Joe Boyd in the number five. Third is Daryl Shelnut. Battle for the third spot. The number seven machine coming up off of turn number two and down the back straightaway. Daryl Shelnut trying to hold off the 30 of Jesse Dottilly. Dottilly's car looks like it has come to life as we close in on the 75 lap mark. Down the front straightaway into turn number one. Dottilly all over the back bumper of Shelnut looks right down to the inside. Shelnut was right there with him like a rocket ship. Down the back straightaway. Dottilly right there as they come up off of turn number four. Our battle as they come up off of turn number four. This is going to be for fifth, sixth, and seventh as they go down into turn number one. Oh, wow. Dennis Coletti pulls down to the inside. Some contact there between him and the 128. Coletti put it right in the numbers of the 128 machine, sending him up the track down in turn number four. Now Coletti moves down to the inside. Dylan Bigley now going to have to play catch up.
Dylan Bigley down into turn number one, trying to run down the number four, Coletti. Anthony Campy, but things are heating up for the second, third, and fourth spot. Your third place car, the number seven, Daryl Shunna, down the front straightaway, knocking on the back door of the number five of Joe Boyd. He has ran him down. He is all over the back bumper. Shellnut closes in, buries it down into turn three on the high side, trying to make the pass up top for the power move. He has it right on the back bumper, down the front straightaway to turn one. Shellnut using the high side, the veteran going to work on the number five machine off of turn two. The Tilly back in the fourth spot, watching this all unfold in front of him. Now the number five machine losing ground on the inside. Daryl Shelnut up top. Daryl Shelnut takes the seven machine, puts it up into the second spot, drops Boyd back to third. Boyd's like, man, where did he come from? Anthony Campy working the lap traffic. Two laps to go this time by. This time by, white flag coming out. The number 81, Anthony Campy, getting the white flag down into turn number one. Second, third, and fourth, cross the line. Your second place car, the number seven machine of Daryl Shelnut. And then third, the number five, Joe Boyd, trying to hold off the 30 of Jesse Dottilly. Anthony Campy taking the win. The battle's gonna be for third. Coming up off of turn four, Dottilly tries to get a bumper on him. He can't quite do it. Daryl Shelnut finishing second, and Joe Boyd in third. Get it all unhooked, got the helmet off, got the belts off, getting his Hans of Ice off, steering wheels off, he's climbing out of the car. Your winner in the Turner Tree Landscaping Super Late Models, win number two, Anthony Campy. Down here in the VP Fuels winner circle, Anthony Campy. Every time you guys come here and unload, it is impressive, especially with the lap times you click off around here. What a rocket ship, man. Yeah, it was really a great run. I mean, we had it balanced all weekend. We came here last night a little um, a little off from the previous run, and we were here till 9, 9.30, and um, just getting it right, and we luckily pulled a one and really just rode the whole race. I mean, you know, with my luck, I was pretty sure Caution would come out with two to go, and it would get a little hairy, but, I mean, just rode around and had some fun. I'm sorry it was born for the fans, but this is a driver's dream. Definitely, this is two in a row for you in the Turner Tree Landscaping Super Late Models. Maybe another number three coming up here pretty soon? I hope so. I hope we can lead every lap that there is out here this season. Anybody you want to thank tonight? Yeah, Crash Claims R Us, Waterside Realty, Total Pipeline, Custom Cards, VIP Pools, Waterside Realty, Rick and Sue Bellin, Royalties, and uh, Campy Co. Without them, you know, I wouldn't be out here. Congratulations. All right. <laughs> That's what happens when they start talking to you before you're done. Taking the win tonight, your winner, the number 81, Anthony Campy. Coming back here, our second place finisher, the number seven, Daryl Shelnut. And uh, Daryl, man, I just got to say, what a pass on the outside of the number five. That was incredible. Joe, Joe was good and, and give us room and everybody raced everybody clean and that's why I make things possible and not tear these cars up. But hats off to Campy. He's been awesome for the last few years. We just got some work cut out for us to get as good as he is. We're glad to have you down here at the Full Throttle Speedway. Anybody you want to thank tonight, Daryl? Uh, Hamke race cars, progressive racing engines, um, innovative suspension, Perry Brown, and Elite Pro Ball Academy. Anybody got any little ball player wannabes, go see the guys at Elite Pro Ball Academy. They'll take care of you. Sounds good. I'm going to check that out. I got a little guy who wants to be a Boston Red Sox. Uh, you go see them. They're all professional players, have professional backgrounds, and uh, they know the right way to do things. Too cool. Congratulations, Harold. Thank you. Finishing second tonight, the number seven, Daryl Shellnut. Coming back here, our third place finisher. Even with the third place finish, still got a smile on his face. Joe, what a great run for you. But man, when he passed you on the outside, that, that had to have been like, where'd he come from? Yeah, you know, I, I, I knew he was coming. And, uh, you know, we lost four drive there, probably with 25 to go or so. I was getting really loose in and off. And, uh, you know, Daryl, I, I knew he'd be there sooner or later. I was just hoping he wouldn't catch us. And, uh, you know, it's uh, I like racing with these guys, you know, and uh, I like to thank my sponsor, Transportation Specialist. You know, if it wasn't for these guys, we couldn't even be here. And, uh, you know, the fans tonight for coming out with the weather as bad as it was, you know, sticking it out, staying here to watch this. You know, I, I, I know you guys don't do it by yourself coming down here. You guys always park in that back corner. You got a whole crew with you. Anybody else you want to think to thank tonight? 
Yeah, you know, my dad, it's, it's me and my dad and my sponsor, uh, Bill Baker, and, uh, you know, it's us three, really. We don't have a six-man crew. Uh, I didn't even get to practice. Here, turn this way. Um, we didn't even get to practice today. You know, we unloaded and loaded back up the rain, and we loaded back up, and, uh, you know, I never even made a lap until qualifying, but, uh, you know, we raced here before, but uh, I don't know. We're going to have to measure the tires and see what happens. <laughs> Always good to see you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Finishing third tonight, the number five out of Riverview, Joe Boyd.